All right, boy T-Rex, OneLoveTO.com, here with the big homie Jay Cole. What up, man? Welcome back to the city. Appreciate it, God. Welcome Appreciate back. Appreciate it, show me love. No doubt. Yes. And uh, first time we met was a year ago, Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. Big homie Hoax concert. Yeah. And uh, now you're back in Toronto. This is your first time performing, I mean, with your own show in Toronto, right? Yeah, you know, I performed last year, but it was, I was opening up. Right. And nobody was probably in the arena yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But now, we yeah. sold out. Yeah, we sold out. It's a big venue, man. And uh, I'll tell you, this market is, is not an easy market to corner, so for you to sell out, I mean, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Definitely. I appreciate that, man. When you think about Toronto, what, what's, like, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Um, man, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Women. The most beautiful women in the world. I, I would have to agree with that, yo. Uh, the Raptors. Okay. Drake. Big homie. Uh, Oh, uh, Carabana, is that what they call it? Ooh, yes, all right, and all right. And then, but I've only heard legendary things. Yeah. Um, you know, I just, now that I'm here and I've been here, I just think of a super clean, nice, incredible city. Like, I, was, I would live here, man. That's know? amazing. It's almost like I wrote, you, wrote that for you to say it. <laughs> I just did. I just read that. All right. <laughs> for sure. All right, so, I mean, in terms of your music, I mean, we have, we always have artists every once in a while that, Look promising. They're young. They got everything going yeah. for them. But with you, you got producing edge as well, mm -hmm. right? So one of the questions we wanted to ask you was, when you're making, you know, a project, a piece of art, one of your songs, do you start with the beat first? Do you have the track in mind? Do you, like, how does it come about for you? To me, I sometimes, most of the times, I'd rather just wake up and start making beats rather than like mine. Because making beats is so like, I don't know. I feel like I've written a lot of raps. Mm -hmm. I still got a lot more to write, but I feel like I'm not as good at, at the production side. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm constantly working on. So, um, since I produce for myself, I usually gotta, like say I make two beats, or whatever, and on that third beat, it might finally be something that the rap side of me is like, it's like two sides, like right. the producer side, and then there's this other guy, like just sitting in the room waiting, like, all right, man, <laughs> make something good already. So the guy behind the boards and the guy on the couch, yeah. they both you. Yeah. All right. So, so, yeah. so, you know, and then the production side will finally make something that the rapper side is like, oh, and that'll click. And I'll right. start in my head or whatever. I'll just start being like, you know, i start writing. I'll come up with the hook or either just randomly, like Lights Please, for instance. Right. Uh, I made the beat, went downstairs, ate some food. You know, maybe an hour later, came back up, heard the beat, then just started writing. Like, I started, every word you hear in that song is the order in which I wrote it. I didn't know the hook. I didn't know anything. I just wrote the verse line by line, kind of like, you know, but it was after I made the beat, so that's, that's how most of my songs happen. Uh, make the beat first, then the rap. That's, that's definitely pretty cool. Like, I mean, you have, basically you're having like a, like chemistry with yourself. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta be in sync. When, like, when the magic happens, like, both sides have to be in sync. Outside of hip hop, is there any type of collabos that, you know, you want to make, whether it's on the production side or as an artist? Absolutely. Um, I mean, there's like the, the R&B, like, you know, I would love to do at least Key, work with Alicia Key, I'm such a fan, John right. Legend, I'm such a fan, you know, it's people like that. Um, but it's also like, these, you know, left field. That's what I, that's electric, what I want to get at. Electronic groups, you know, that I listen to, and you know, I would love to work with one day, because um, their sound is so incredible, incredible, excuse me. Um, but I can't throw it out there, you know, for the, for the people only because I feel like people gonna steal my <laughs> certain people gonna steal like where I get my my sample from, right? Like, bet. Or who I'm checking for. But you know, it definitely is a lot of left field stuff that I'm interested in because I notice in that in that genre and a lot of these genres outside of hip hop and R and B, if that's what we call it, right? Day, um, like they don't follow any rules, and that's what I love about Kanye's album, by the way, because it's not it follows no rules, no mm -hmm. structures, like. Four hooks, you know. I think um, what's the that like, can we get much higher? Oh yeah, the, uh, lost in this world. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not the, um, oh, even, uh, even lost in the world. Yeah. Perfect example. Like it's one verse, it's like one long verse, and then crazy. the rest is just music. And the way the beat builds yeah, into absolutely. it's crazy. Like, it's, so I love that because there's no rules and a lot of like the left field stuff. I'm talking about electronic music and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's like that, it's no real, no structure. So that's perfect, because it's like, it's like, it's a fusion, right? So taking all these different genres and mixing yeah, it absolutely. together. And so it kind of ties into the next thing, which is, uh, 
So our city and our block, One Love T.O., it's about acknowledging the differences and the fusion and, you know, just one love, right? Yeah. Um, what does one love mean to you? One love? Yeah. If you, hear, if you hear one love, what does that mean to you? For us, it's like the, you know, the, the diversity of the city is so multicultural, yeah. all that good stuff. When you hear one love, what does that mean to you? Man, when I hear it, I, I just think it's not so <laughs> <laughs> But But I, to me, one love is just always just symbolized like more like brotherhood. And not just amongst men, just amongst people. people. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what it means to me. Like, okay. you know, I'm, 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 one place, one energy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One guy, you know, that's what you believe in. So, right. like, that's, that's what I think about when I hear that. Appreciate you. And uh, earlier, you guys hooked me up with the, the J. Cole sweater, you know, so I got my J. Cole sweater. Hey, I got it. So, what I did was, since Christmas is coming up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Went and got you a gift. My man. man. You know what I'm saying? My man. Oh, drop the Blackberry. It's all right. Got there you a gift. Go. I appreciate One that. One Love T.O. shirt. Yeah. And, uh, Appreciate that. Welcome back to C. I I know we'll see you again. We'll Absolutely. see you on the road. Absolutely. And uh, anytime you're here, you already know it's love. We got you. Appreciate it, man. Toronto, right. much love. Yes. One love, actually. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> One love. All right. Yeah, we good. Appreciate you, dog. Right. What's up, y'all? This is J. Cole. The Rock is in the building. Shout out to OneLoveTO.com. Much love. One love. I gave you, like, a nice wink right there. Yeah. I was like... <laughs>